Hello. In this video, we are going to calculate the change in entropy with respect to volume for a van der Waals gas and compare it to a ideal gas. Specifically, we are going to evaluate the expression, the change in the entropy with respect to volume at constant temperature for the van der Waals gas. And we're going to make a point of comparing that with the ideal or perfect gas. Recall that the equation of state for the van der Waals gas is the pressure is equal to RT divided by V sub M minus B minus A divided by V sub M squared, where V sub M is the molar volume, and that is the volume of the system divided by the number of moles of gas. Here we notice that the volume of the system is an extensive property, it depends on how big it is, and the number of moles of gas depends upon the size of the system. So we see that both V and N are extensive variables, but if we take their ratio, we get an intensive variable, which is the molar volume. We use a similar technique when we calculate the density of a substance. Now, looking at this equation, um, it seems it might be very difficult to calculate this particular partial derivative if for no other reason that the variable s does not appear even once in the equation of state. But we can use one of the Maxwell relations uh, to help us out here. So one of them tells us that the change in entropy with respect to volume at constant temperature, which is precisely what we want to find, is equal to the change in pressure as a function of temperature at constant volume. And this particular derivative we shall be able to calculate easily. Now we can take the partial derivative with respect of P with respect to T for this particular expression. And we notice in the first term, we have the uh, variable T and it's multiplied by a constant R divided by V sub M minus B. We also see for the second term that the temperature does not appear at all. So the derivative of the second term is exactly zero. So we have determined, uh, so far, the value of this particular partial derivative, but we already know by the Maxwell relations that it's equal to this particular partial derivative, which is the derivative that we were asked to find for the van der Waals gas. What about for the ideal or perfect gas? Well, recall that the equation of state in that case is equal to P equals RT divided by V sub M. So we can take the, find the change in entropy with respect to volume, again, for the ideal gas. We instead calculate this particular partial derivative, which we know is exactly equal to the derivative that we want by the Maxwell relations. So, now we take the partial derivative here of P with respect to the temperature at constant volume, which is the same as constant molar volume. And we have the very easy derivative, which is R divided by V sub M. So we notice that the values are slightly different. For the ideal gas, it's R divided by V sub M. Whereas for the van der Waals gas, it's R divided by V sub M minus B. If we think about what this particular derivative represents, it tells us, for example, that if the volume is increasing, that the entropy is going to increase at a particular rate. So for the uh, ideal gas, the rate at which the entropy increases as the volume increases, is R divided by V sub M, whereas the 
the rate of increase in the entropy for the van der Waals gas is R divided by V sub M minus B. So a great question to ask is, for which gas, either the ideal gas or the van der Waals gas, which, for which one does the entropy increase faster with an increase in volume, or do they increase at exactly the same rate? Well, we already have noticed that it's not the same rate because the values for the derivative are different for the ideal gas and for the van der Waals gas. Recall that the van der Waals constant B was an attempt to account for the fact that molecules have a finite volume that are not point particles. So as a result, the value of the constant B for any van der Waals gas has to be greater than zero. Greater than, or say, greater than or equal to zero, or equal to zero. Um, as far as that goes, it would mimic the properties of an ideal gas. But we'll assume that we're taking the case where it's distinctively larger than zero. So if that is true, we know that Vm minus B is less than V sub M. But the B sub M is a positive value, and on the left-hand side, we're subtracting a positive value from it. Now, since V sub M is greater than V sub M minus B, that tells us also that R divided by V sub M minus B has to be greater than R divided by V sub M. And since that is true, that tells us that the Remember, this is the value of how fast the entropy is increasing. So we see that the greater value for the increase in the entropy as the volume increases is for the van der Waals gas as opposed to the ideal gas. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.